<laughs> that's, that's, that's one of Richard's favorites. It's one of my requests, yeah. Jewel, Foolish Games. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to a song that's not so pretty. <laughs> yeah. According to your taste, I guess, mm. you know. Uh, so a while back we uh, Hold on. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Great <laughs> Measures. My name is Richard. This is Judson. <laughs> Your mom. Great Measures. A while back we did... I introduced you to Death. Chuck Schuldiner from Florida. We did Flesh and the Power It Holds. Mm -hmm. Wasn't really your cup of tea. Mm -mm. Your cup of joe. Mm -mm. Um, so let's do it again. We're going to try it again. We're going to try it again. <laughs> we're going to try the title track from the album Symbolic. So the song is called Symbolic. It oh, is the opening. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the opening track to the album. Uh, the album came out in 95. Uh, let's see. Really not much else. I mean, the drummer is different on this one. Uh, I think a couple of other, I think a couple of players are different, but the drummer is the, probably the most notable one. Uh, it's a drummer named Gene Hoagland. Uh, he's very well known as one of the best in the metal world. Uh, he's earned the nicknames the Atomic Clock and the Human Drum Machine. Wow. Yeah, he's known for a lot of technicality, but he plays it at a very, very pinpointed accuracy. Um, Machine-like. Machine-like, very much so. This was the last album he was on. He was on two of their albums. Um, that was probably the more notable difference. That's about it. Symbolic. Mm -hmm. they, they went a little more melodic. Compared to Flesh and the Power It Holds and that whole Sound of Perseverance album, uh, this one's a little easier to digest. Okay, then. Ready? Sure. Yeah. Nah, it's not bad. Ready? Proceed, Richard. Yeah. 
Lay it on us. I, I liked this one. Okay. Okay. It's still, death is real schizophrenic. Yeah, they, that's a good word for them. But, musically. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. and I noticed this with the last song that we listened to, um, but it was hard for me to say it. I just noticed it. That there are, there, you know, there are definite parts. And they go way from where from where they start. So the first section of this, when they're introducing you to the parts, and when you're first listening to the song, and and that that da, 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 yeah, I like it when a song starts with a guitar, a keyboard, or whatever, and they're playing a riff, and then. The way that it hits your ear is you you miss the 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 one beat because of how they they, mm-hmm. they come how they play and then when the drums come in it's so cool. I noticed when the drums came in. I noticed you like the look was like oh there it is. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like uh, there's a lot of music that does that that I that I I just like how I just like the beginnings of songs that way. And then you know obviously you can you can bang your head to it but how their where their accents are within the beat mm-hmm. are, are different even though the beat's pretty standard but then uh, you know then they take off the yeah. and that 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 and then um anyway i get i just sort of, like right now it's hard for me to go back and kind of sure. but they just go from fast, fat, or you know, a beat to faster to faster. Yeah. yeah. But then when it's that, and he, like, yeah. it seems like the drummer's doing more mm-hmm. when it's at the the or the slower part. Yeah. But then they. So anyway, it sounds like four or five different parts. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember back, and I, it's hard to do it without listening to. It. I think it's. It's maybe four parts and maybe a fifth part, and they basically just flip it. I mean, they do it yeah, yeah. a second time after the solo. They do the And that's same what I was going to say. Yeah. I, I like that they bring those. I, you notice that they bring them back, but they're so. You almost don't know you're there. The parts are so different from each other. And they're, they're, they're eclectic inside the parts. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not just straight up. The guitars are the. Are the. Are the um, I'm not gonna say boring, but they but they have a definite, right? You know, mm-hmm. they're doing the least sometimes in some of those parts, but even so, uh, yeah, I, I like that they bring those parts back, and it's not so cookie cutter this yeah. part than this and this and this. And yeah, it seemed like it was it was more. Yes, that's exactly the way. It like is. a Chris Nolan movie or something. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I like that. I, I, I noticed that more there. And I, and I think I did notice, I mean, if I had a drummer like that in my band, I would end the song, too, with the drummer. Let him go. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I did also notice how, uh, you know, you want to, when you speed up or when you do double time and stuff like that, and then you, you do half time and stuff, it's really easy for a drummer to speed up, you always if you're ever in a band, you always have trouble with right. you get to a point in the song. You're like, "Yo!" Yeah. And um, my brother's a drummer, and he, uh, I would notice he would. There'd be times that when we go from one part to the next, it sounded like he was dragging, but he wasn't. He was just on the beat. Yeah. And making sure, you know, because if there's something in your mind that says, "All right, here we go," if you played a little slower chances are you've just gone back to the right beat yeah and i noticed that at one point i was you know i was here and then they go back to this mm-hmm. and i and i think oh, they, they slowed down and they haven't he's right. just on time yeah the um, atomic clock yeah you know what the atomic clock is i don't think so there's another time set like a, a galactic clock like a universal clock yeah that has to do with they 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 measure. And I'm gonna get some of this wrong because I don't remember the, the particle or the element. But uh, a particle that has a, a half life. Yeah. Of point blah, whatever whatever, 
that they set the clock by. Okay. It's a universal atomic clock. Anyway, I just read that in a book. Okay. <laughs> a physics book. But uh, Yeah, I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty good. He's called the atomic clock. I mean, he's, you know... I mean, our clock. I mean, our yeah. clocks move slower depending on yeah how high you are or or how fast you're going yeah. or whatever. But anyway, um, so the time clock's pretty accurate. Is what I'm trying to say, Richard. I got you. I got you. Uh, but no, you can tell that the drummer's being. I mean, the guitar solo was the thing that was that was the quietest in the mix. Yeah. I can see that, yeah. You know, you heard the, the rhythm guitars going, and I like that. I like that I could still hear that it didn't drown out stuff. Um, Maybe because we have better headphones now, too. Well, <laughs> no, but I mean, still, it wasn't. No, the guitar solo mean. wasn't like, here yeah. I am, you know. Um, but you can still hear it. I mean, I'm not saying it was quiet. It was just, maybe it was just kind of the same same volume as everything else. Yeah. But but it's they're, they're playing individual notes, so it's more... There's just less sound coming out of there. Right. I don't know. But yeah, I dug this song more than I have. What? Oh, I thought you had a thought. Mm -hmm. um, I heard you think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like this one more than the last one. Okay. Uh, the last one was just more chaotic. This one, I mean, death is chaotic. I'm surprised that the, that the lyrics are so positive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, basically... He's he's calling out for the the need and the want for innocence and and purity and that kind of thing. Right. Um, which is interesting. Yeah. You know, especially to sing him in that harsh vocal. I mean, I could I could I could understand what he was singing. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's a lot more understandable in this this album for sure. This song in particular. Hey, that, that's good. Yeah. That that you yeah. can convey your lyrics. Right. So people can understand right. them. I know how you feel about it. And know what the song is about. We know how you feel about it. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I thought it was cool. I, okay. I, I don't have an issue with it. Cool. Well, good. Where's your shirt today? today? Obituary. Oh. Also another Florida death metal band. You're not ready for obituary yet. No? Not if you're just going from the vocal conversation that you just had about understanding the vocals. <laughs> we'll hold off on obituary for a little while. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. From Florida Same too. era, yeah. Same time. Obituary, frame. death, and Leonard Skinner. You got it. They got some musical stuff going on you down got there in it. Florida. You got it. Thanks wait, for watching. Well, hold on. No, 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 no not yet. Okay, what did you think of it? Yeah, I enjoy it. Um, you like the 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 halftime and the, the double I do, time yeah. stuff. I didn't start getting into death until probably late 2000s, probably 2009, 2010. That was kind of along the time that my acquired taste started to be able to understand things a little better, I guess. My my taste for extreme metal in particular. Because uh, the first time I heard Death, I was like, uh, no, this ain't for me. And then revisited them at a later time. And this song in particular was the one that, that kind of hooked me on Death. And it's um, called Symbolic or Symbolism? Symbolic. symbolic. Yeah. This yeah. song hooked you. It did, yeah. This was the song that, that was like, oh, okay, I get it. I get death now. Yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of what it did for me a little bit yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, cool. That excites me. Maybe I get them a little more. We'll go, we'll go a different direction with death. Great. So we... we no, I don't, I don't mean like... We hit a good spot and I don't it's mean like, like ah, we found screw your sweet you, spot bro. now we're going to jump off. I just meant like... I, their albums are so different from each other, man. It's just hard to to. Well, that peg, that pinpoint. guitar, that. Mm -hmm. What do you call that? I mean, what kind of metal? Like, because because that's. I mean, their death is definitely technical death metal. Technical death metal. Yeah, they are. 
Yeah. But that, that but this don't, don't album had a lot don't. more had than compared to the rest of their albums. Symbolic has a lot more melodic death metal elements. I just think but that, still that guitar work is yeah is cool. And yeah. and again, that's something that you find in a lot of music that dun, 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 yeah dun, dun, that digging. You yeah, know? for sure. Uh, Zeppelin did that a lot. Um, but as you were saying, yeah, that's it. That's it. Good to go? Yeah, sure. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was Symbolic by Death. We are Great Measures. Great My Measures. Name is Richard. This is Judson. Have a wonderful day.